Javed Ansari is a senior uh, journalist and political analyst, and he joins us on the show now. Thanks so much for coming on. The Prime Minister, Narendra Modi, he has apologised for the harsh uh, conditions under the crackdown, but did he have any other option with 1.3 billion people in India? I, I don't think so. The only op viable option available before the government was to help flatten the curve, to ensure social distancing, to and that was the only way that could have been implemented was by asking people to self-isolate. Having done that, the government ought to have thought this through. And where the government has come up such short by a long distance is the fact that they did not factor in the implications it would have on, on, on daily wage laborers, on people working in small businesses. This entire lockdown has left them without money, left them without food, and left them without jobs. As a consequence, they have no option but to undertake this long, arduous journey back to the villages, sometimes hundreds, and in some cases, even thousands of miles. India is in lockdown, so there's no road transport or railways available. They are, they are trying to, they're attempting the, all the impossible, which is of trying to walk 100 miles. And now the government appears to have woken up belatedly to the fact that this overcrowding as bus stations uh, will, will lead to further spread of the virus. The social distancing has gone for a six as far as the masses are concerned. And if these people reach their villages and if they carry infections with them, if, it reach, if this infection, God forbid, reaches India's villages, I mean, you know, we have a catastrophe on our hands. And, and therefore, the prime minister has apologized, trying to preempt some of the anger that people are, uh, you know, feel over, over the fact that the government didn't adequately think this through. And do you think, Javed, that uh, the government has thought through the comment that it plans, uh, that it doesn't plan actually to extend the lockdown? Is 21 days enough? Well, uh, this is something which only the experts can, can tell us. If there are enough, if there is enough empirical evidence to suggest that indeed we've managed to stem the growth, then yes, 21 days. The government is also cognizant of the fact that the people are facing tremendous hardships. There are no jobs. There are no food. Uh, there, there are no food facility. Uh, there's no. There's not enough food and shelter available. And the longer the lockdown continues, the economy will be hit, uh, and the unemployed and, and these scenes that we are watching on your television will play out throughout the country. And if this indeed is not prevented, then there will be a huge, huge tragedy on our hands. India is battling COVID-19 on one hand and hunger and uh, homelessness on the other. This is a situation which has caught the world unprepared and certainly the government of India are unprepared. And Javid, before I let you go, um, tell us about your personal experience under lockdown in New Delhi. Are the essentials available? Well, essentials are available. I managed to get out today to buy some stuff. But um, earlier, the entire market used to open. Now there was one general store which was uh, open. And uh, for now, things are available. But uh, if the longer this continues, supplies are not coming in, trucks are waiting at the border, supplies are not coming in. So the longer this continued, shortages will grow. And, when, and if shortages grow, so will unrest. And so therefore, the government has to do a tremendous balancing act. One is the need to prevent this virus from, from moving out further, from, to, to prevent community uh, transmissions of this, of this virus. And the other is to ensure that there's enough food and there's enough to keep pe people's stomach filled. I'm, this is the sixth, seventh, eighth day in quarantine, for, in, in self-isolation for me. I'm not used to this. And more than anything else, it's playing on the mind. But this is something there is no escaping from. Javed, appreciate, appreciate your time talking to us. And uh, do keep strong and uh, stay safe. Thank you.